What is up everyone? Welcome back. And we have assembled all the GPU, the GPU block. So if you miss out on how I assemble the GPU block, be sure to check out my another video which I focus on the assemble of the GPU block to the GPU PCB. So go ahead and watch the video and you can come back to this part where we hook it up into the water loop system. Okay, so the goal here is simple. I have to hook up my GPU block into this current water loop. But there's one thing. Um, for that, we have to partially drain out this loop, which I don't really want to um, waste the coolant and let it drain out into the drain. So I have an idea is I'm going to unplug this port and fill it back here so I can reuse it because this coolant needs mm, it's not it's around it's just around six months so and it's a clear coolant so there shouldn't be any um gunk building up so technically I can still reuse this coolant and I will be fine. But the problem is I don't have any drain pot here. Since I'm on soft tube bin there's no point of me having a drain pot. But I'm not sure what's going to happen when I unplug this, but I'm quite sure that, mm, if anything that engineering has taught me is if there is no other air pressure coming in, if there's a hole here, the water shouldn't be leaking out, I guess. Well, directly speaking, if I unplug it, the water shouldn't be coming out, so I can. I, I might still have time to take this empty bottle over here, put it over here, then open another pot for the water to fill up. Oh shit 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 okay, I see air, I see air is not a good thing If there's air it means there's water coming out Oh no 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 Hey! There's water coming out So what I'm up What I'm up What I'm about to do Please don't follow it It's not what I recommend but the lazy method. Okay. <sighs> yes, that's the method. <laughs> and I think I drain out everything. <laughs> Ta-da! Please don't follow it. Okay. So, you can just set this aside here. And now we are safe from all this water disaster. Okay! Time to rotate. Oh shit, there's still a little bit of a leaking. Okay. Now we're gonna fast forward everything from here, so we can just sit back and enjoy the montage or fast forward.
So after using these bytes, the RTX 3080 water blocks that designed for the Gigabyte RTX 3080 and the 3090. So here are my findings and I'm gonna split it into some categories here. So one, idle temperature. So idle temperature, it starts out at 33 degrees Celsius. So with my room temperature at 22 degrees Celsius. So that's a delta T of 11 degrees Celsius. And next, under load. So at under load for heaven benchmark and also gaming, the max temperature is usually around the 55 degrees to 58 degrees Celsius with the roof temperature 22 degrees Celsius. So that makes the delta T temperature around the 30 degrees Celsius range. So not bad for that GPU block. And next, will it increase your GPU overall performance? Well, in a way, yes, because RTX 30 series cards, they have GPU boost. That means if you are able to keep your GPU temperatures low, you can make it boost higher. So here's the thing, before water cooling my G GPU, my temperatures are usually quite high around the 70s to even sometimes even 81 because it because my RTX 3080 is not in the very ideal slot so right now since I managed to bring it down to the 55 degrees Celsius range so I can see my uh, GPU usually it boosts it boosts around 1995 megahertz so in a way yes it did increase my GPU performance so should you buy the Bikeski Gigabyte RTX 3080 GPU block in my opinion, you can try because there's only three brands that are making the Gigabyte RTX 3080 GPU block. So AlphaCo, Barrow, and Bysky. Uh, Bysky and Barrow, their price range around the same, 360 ringgit to 380 ringgit Malaysia. Okay, that's less than 100 US dollars. For AlphaCo, that's a premium price, but I'm not sure the performance is uh, the best of it. I think it's the best of them, otherwise they won't charge more than 100 euros for it. So for those who have used before Alpha Cool uh, Water Blocks or GPU Block, uh, please let me know how, how is their performance because I've never tried, tried it before. So if you don't need the best of the best performance, yes, this GPU Block, you can definitely go for it if you're planning to cool your Gigabyte RTX 3080. So it includes the backplate, it has the special uh, power connectors for you, so you won't have the ugly Gigabyte uh, dual 8 pin to wh whatever they call it, that box thingy attached on your GPU block. So yes, it has the special wire connector for you. So. It can make your design and cabin management look clean. Uh, on the other hand, the, the, the main competition is Barrow here. Barrow and Bysky because their price range is the same. What I can say for Barrow is the way Barrow designed the GPU block, it follows, it almost follows the dimension of the original Gigabyte RTX 3080. So you have to use the Gigabyte dual 8 pin PCIe with their, whatever they call it power connectors uh, attached to your water block so uh, yes your GPU water block is going to be quite long longer than what I'm using right now it, it, it will reach around here I guess yes yes around here okay so by ski it's the dimension is until here only all right barrel is until here I, I estimate it all right so yep Bysky or Barrow, I think I'll choose Bysky, alright? So that's all for my RTX 3080 water cooling project right here. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and enable the notification button so you won't miss out on what we have planned for you. And make sure to follow our Facebook page as well. As well, That's where all our live stream is happening. So that's all. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.